Hey guys, it's Kimberly, and today I wanna to show you guys what's in my pantry. Your pantry, just like your freezer, is a really great tool for you to use to stay prepared for the whole week, to keep your diet on track, even when you get really busy. There's a lot of really great staple items that I wanna share with you guys, so let's go ahead and take a peek. So, this is one of my staple pantries. I do have a few, but as you can see, this one is jam-packed for all the stuff that I need for making quick meals on the go and just making sure again that I have enough when I'm really hungry or really busy and I can't shop every single day. So starting from the top, here I have this rice lasagna. This is the brand that I really love. It's called De Bowls. And this is what I use to make my gluten-free vegan lasagna, which is in Beauty Detox Foods. I usually make a big tray of it and I give it to clients or I freeze some of it and that way um, if I'm really hungry I can just go ahead and toss together a quick salad as I'm defrosting this. So it's a good thing, it's a good staple to keep on hand. It's so easy to make because you don't have to boil the pasta part first. You actually just layer it, you cook the veggies with a sauce. Um, you cook the veggies and you layer the sauce in and you can just put um, the pasta right on top and stick it in the oven. So this is a great time saver and I love this brand because you don't have to pre-cook it. So this middle drawer has a lot of stuff um, packed in. I'll just start from the left. I tend, I usually have my Vitamix right here, so I tend to make a lot of smoothies over in this corner. So here's a lot of my smoothie material. I have um, raw cacao beans and I also have raw cacao powder. I want to throw together a quick shake with some bananas or some frozen bananas. I also have some goji berries, which are really great. And this is what I love for using in smoothies. This, um, this brand, the Coconut Secret, <laughs> is the raw coconut nectar. It's a great liquid sweetener. It's less than 10% fructose. It's full of amino acids and minerals. So it works really well um, in your smoothies or combined with a little bit of stevia. This is actually my... Um, <laughs> this is my stevia. I stole some from uh, Glow Bio because I ran out. But, um, but I use both interchangeably in my smoothies, or I like to combine them both for different flavors. And now moving across the shelf, we have all my different whole grains. These tiny little, um, these tiny little grains right here is, is amaranth. So this is what whole amaranth looks like. And you can cook it, you can soak it, you can treat it similarly to millet. I found it in the, sh in the uh, store the other day and I wanted to play with it. You'll see some new recipes with amaranth soon. And my two favorites that I love, here's my millet and my quinoa. And what's great about certain bins in certain health stores actually have sprouted quinoa. So you don't have to worry if you're in a total bind and you forgot to soak your quinoa and you need to make something really quick. If you have sprout, sprouted quinoa, you can just heat up the water and make it in about 12 minutes. So I usually keep some sprouted quinoa on hand. I also keep some regular quinoa. This, I like this brand called True Roots. It's also organic. So I couldn't live without my quinoa. It's one of the fastest, easiest things I use to make um, meals. And then I also have some organic brown rice, which works really well for a lot of recipes or and stews to top, um, to top your stews on top of, and um, my risotto, which I love. And then, by the same company, True Roots, also Essential Living Foods has great chia seeds as well, my organic chia seeds. And I actually have some soaking in the fridge. I never put them right in the smoothies. I always like to prehydrate them first. That way when it goes into your system, it already is made of that gel, which is that soluble and insoluble fiber, which helps to clean you out and it helps to keep you full. Um, chia seeds are amazing. They have a lot of omega-3 fatty acids and proteins and um, just so many different minerals. So always make sure you keep your pantry stocked with chia seeds. And then the very right of my shelf is a very important shelf, is my little corner of sea vegetables. And here I have my whole leaf, whole leaf dulse. I love this Maine Coast Sea Vegetable Company. Um, I have my nori wrappers. Actually, I have <laughs> four packages of nori wrappers. And what's so great is you can toss together a salad and stuff them in the nori wrappers and pick it up like you're having a little sandwich. Or as you guys that have read the Beauty Detox Solution know my Ananda Burrito. 
Um, you can stuff all different kinds of things in nori wrappers for a really quick, easy, delicious meal. Same thing with the dulse. Um, I really love the whole leaves. <laughs> there aren't too many left, but let me see if I can show you guys what they look like. Um, they're great on salads. And I like them better than the flakes because they don't taste as fishy. And all the sea vegetables have a tremendous amount of trace minerals. They have a lot of iron. They have a lot of different um, vitamins. They're amazing just to add, as I mentioned, into salads or to eat your salads with to get a different, um, a different level of different types of minerals just from land, ve land vegetables. The sea vegetables are great to add in as well. So now we're getting to my bottom shelf. And this is a partial... Um, this is my partial spice collection. I, have, I also have another pantry that's all spices as well. I love spices. It's a great way to add flavor to foods without adding a lot of oil or just a lot of um, heaviness. So I have everything from cinnamon. I'm almost out. I go through a lot of different cinnamon in the evenings if I have a sweet tooth. I often make my um, vegan vanilla latte, which is just unsweetened almond milk, a little bit of stevia, and a little bit of cinnamon. Um, so that's why there's no cinnamon left because I tend to use it a lot. And I love this pink Himalayan sea salt. This is one of my favorite salts. So many different um, spices in here. We could do a whole segment just on that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, this is another one of my favorite spices. This is cumin. And this I also borrowed from Glow Bio. It's in our little um, uh, degradable, uh, biodegradable container. But cumin works really well with quinoa. It works really great in soup. It's an interesting flavor. If you haven't worked with it yet, go ahead and pick some up. And last but not least, I have my <laughs> nutritional yeast container, which I love. Nutritional yeast is a primary product. It's grown on molasses. It's full of protein and B vitamins, and you only need a little bit to really create a delicious, cheesy flavor without any dairy. So I use my yeast. Sometimes I'll just steam vegetables and put some on top. They are in a lot of beauty detox recipes, as you guys know. Um, I put them on salads. I um, I put them just on about. I, I put the yeast just on about everything you can imagine. It makes everything taste delicious. And again, it's adding denseness. It's adding more nutrition to whatever meal you are making. So here are a couple things in my pantry. I hope this helped you guys um, create some ideas of your own, what to stock at home, what to keep, and that way you'll always be prepared and you'll always be able to eat really well throughout the week.